So this is the NeoRep thermometer and hygrometer combo. Uh, as you can see, you've got your current temperature and is your humidity. Uh, you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You've got a max and a minimum set in here, so you can look what your maximum was and what your minimum was. And obviously I'll show you that. You can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And then your in and out button is, and you can see here it says out. So out is the external probe basically. So your external thermometer. So the probe that is coming out the back of the device and going into my vivarium. Uh, is what out is and that's 22.4 degrees if you switch that to in and it's saying 23.3 right so this is actually room temperature so what in actually stands for is internal thermometer it's the thermometer that's inside the device and when you switch back to out that's the external thermometer the probe Okay, I know it doesn't quite make sense, it probably should be the other way around really. Uh, I think it would make more sense if in was inside the vivarium and out was outside the vivarium, but they've done it this way, so so that's the readings, that's how they work, pretty simple obviously. Um, they are, if I can show you the actual size of them. So this is one in my hand. So here's a comparison with the Exoterra thermometer, if you've ever seen one of them. Um, yeah, that's the size difference. Okay, and on the back of these units, you actually have this little flip out stand. Um, I guess you could use that as a clip to clip on some things. It is sort of spring loaded. And then you can drop that little hinge down and it just clips there. And acts as a stand. Uh, the other thing I love about these are they are, if you just clip this out, they are a AAA battery under there, which is handy because I know the Exoterras use the little watch batteries. Uh, I, can't, I can't get the thing off, but they use one of those little circular. Um, watch batteries and obviously they're harder to come by which is the triple A's you've normally got one hanging around and you draw somewhere at home so they're quite handy so I'll show you what the probes look like okay so these are the probes um, excuse my unsteady hand so obviously that's your thermometer probe on the left and then that's your hygrometer probe on the right and if you can see, it's actually got a little hole at the bottom there, so you can uh, screw it down if you want. Um, I've just left them like that though, and sort of hide them a little bit behind the leaves. So one of the good things about the probes on this is um, that they are actually separate, because some of these combos that you get, the, the thermometer probe and the hygrometer probe are in one, so you can only put them in one place in the vivarium. Whereas these, because they're separate, and each wire, as or each cable, whatever you want to call it, have each got three foot of length. So you can have your your display unit sitting on top of your vivarium, and then you could have your if you say if you put this unit in the middle, you could have your hygrometer at one end of your vivarium and the thermometer probe at the other end of your vivarium if you wanted to. Uh, so that's a handy little feature. And yeah, I've got four of these. Ignore the green sticker, by the way. That's uh, just so that I know whose it is, <laughs> which animal it belongs to. Um, but yeah, I've got four of these, and they're all within about one or two degrees of each other, so they're pretty accurate. Uh, they match up with my thermostats, and uh, they seem to match up not bad with the um, Exoterra ones as well. 23.8 um, obviously this is room in, reading room temperature right now so if we switch this 
So the out switches to in, 24.2, 23.8, so the 0.4 of a degree is difference between the two. So, so they are pretty accurate. Um, and these are the price on them. So an Exoterra, Exoterra, I don't think that's right, an Exoterra thermometer, um, I think these are about so like eleven pound or something like that, uh, ten or eleven pound, and the hygrometers are about seventeen pound or something like that. They, they are really expensive, and the hygrometer I had was constantly saying ninety nine percent all the time. It only changed when I opened the vivarium door. It just wanted to say ninety nine percent. That's all I wanted, it wanted to tell me. Um, so when you're looking at that. You got an Exoterra thermometer and an Exoterra hygrometer all together you're looking nearly 30 quid these here £9.99 and like I say a little stand on them AAA battery and they're accurate so it's a no brainer for me really um, I highly recommend them so, you know, if you're in the market for a hygrometer and a thermometer, even if you just want one or the other. Um, I remember when I bought one of these, I was just looking for a hygrometer. And I thought, what's the point in buying a hygrometer on its own? I may as well just get one of these combos, because for 9 99 you know, there you go. Neo Rep thermometer and hygrometer combo. Thanks for watching.